Okay, so let's talk about the villains because let's be honest, they're more fun to write. Now, this is the way that I approach them and I'm sure other people have you know, their ways of approaching villains, but if you're a new writer, you might find this helpful to give you a little bit of guidance of maybe how to think when writing them. Now, I did a video a couple of weeks ago about the heroes and our protagonists and how to introduce intention and obstacle to make our stories a bit more interesting. If you haven't seen that video, it'll be coming up right after this. But when it comes to villains, what I tend to do is I tend to focus less on the obstacle, which is really important for the protagonist because the villain already has their obstacle and that is the hero that they're fighting. I tend to focus on their intention more. And the reason for this is to make our villains more scary is they need to believe whatever horrific, you know, acts they're doing, whether, you know, they're trying to destroy a city or, you know, rob a bank or whatever it is they're doing, they need to believe what they are doing is the truth. It has to be their 100% truth. They need to believe in that cause more than anything else in the world. Now that's gonna sound bonkers and it could be our characters are completely out of their mind, but if they don't believe what they're doing, they're actually weak villains. Now we can look at you know people like Thanos in the MCU films, which not particularly the greatest villain in the cinema history, but they handled that very well because if you know Thanos from the comics, you'll know the reason why he wants to kill half the universe is to impress Death, who is a woman, which doesn't really translate well if you're gonna put that into cinema. But the fact that Thanos wants to kill half the universe to level out you know, the resources, to him it makes sense. Even though he is the Mad Titan and he has the Infinity Gauntlet and all he has to do is actually click his fingers and he can make twice as much resources so everyone is happy. But he believes the only way to do that is to take away half the people in the universe. So for him, that is his truth and that's what makes sense to him and that's what makes him a pretty good villain compared to a lot of the others. Now, there are different types of villains in different types of stories. Now, if you want me to do a full video on them, I can, but two, for example, are the mirror villains. Now, you'll see this a lot, especially in Marvel and DC films where you'll have you know, Iron Man, for example, then you'll have the mirror villain, which will just be a bigger, badder version of them throughout the film. And they tend to be, you know, okay. But then you have the other type of villains where are looming villains. Now, what I mean by this, these are uh, villains like Thanos who you don't see throughout the story. And they're there like a puppet master pulling the strings until like the big confrontation at the end. Now, they are just two examples of the types of villains that that you've got and again i can go into these in a bit more detail in another video if you'd like me to as well as some of the others but what i want you to take away from this video is is when you are writing your villains whether you believe it or not they have to believe it or not if they believe it your readers will believe it and it will make them more scary as villains so hopefully that has helped hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give us a like share and a subscribe and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching bye